Hello, Leo. Welcome to the your mid-September to October reading of this current year, which is 2019. So, yay. I hope y'all are doing fabulous today. Thank you to everyone who views, subscribes, gets readings from me. You guys make this a joy and a bliss to do. Right? Any newcomers? Leo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it is just a card game, right? It doesn't work if you don't believe it. It just boop yourself on the nose and away we goes. Also, if you're wanting a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Newcomers, first readings on the house. Everything else comes with the price, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Leo, you feel like nothing is happening for you. Like the Wheel of Fortune right here is reversed. Like nothing's moving forward. You almost like you're overshadowed while someone else is getting their blessing. Huh. Your thoughts and feelings like you want to fight something off with the Seven of Wands. And the root of that is the Two of Cups right here. Connection with somebody. Now in dead center, we got the Ten of Cups reversed. This happy ending is not so happy. Like parents don't even like each other. The kid's annoying. Someone wants to come back in from the cold. Or in this case, Kitty wants to like go outside for no reason because I let him out once. <sighs> and it feels like nothing's changing and nothing is happening. What's your vibration, my dear Leos? Also, cross watchers, switch where you need to. You know, take what's yours and leave the rest with a pound of salt. Right? Right. You feel like you are trapped in a cave and you don't like it. Dude. No, stop it. You're just going to be that kind of annoying today, aren't you? He always does this at night at some point. I don't know why, but he's always doing that shit. Oh well. Anyway, Leo, let's see. I feel like you feel like luck isn't in your favor. Like you feel like... Almost like no matter how hard you try, it almost is like you feel like a loser still. Which is a horrible way to feel about yourself, but it's like... I don't know. I've known, I've known a lot of Leos who were like that, you know. Like they were really cool people, but they always, like, felt down about shit, or, like, things were always against them, or they never had their luck right. In reality, they were extremely lucky. They just never... Sometimes it ends up, like, they never really see it until, like, you know, it's not there. Hmm. Like, I don't know what you would be... F like, there's something you're fighting off, and it's, like, family, or, like, somebody... Some group of people or something that, um... It's like they come against you for some weird shit, but I can't tell what that is. Let me overhear some, because they're pretty far over, man. There we go. Ah, book came out for you guys. Let's see. You might feel trapped, clouded. There could be a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who went to do some magic and probably lost her shit. She might feel trapped and confined with all this distance and ether and, like, nobody's listening to her with the Hierophant Sage mentor, right? She is not to them. so weird. Like, I don't know, man. It's like... It's not like it's one person, but there is a connection that's significant. This Wheel of Fortune right here is not turning. There's a lot of this order and turmoil going around. Five of Wands. 
Maybe that's why you're fighting stuff on. And nobody's really naive to it, it seems like. Hmm. Like, you already know... Okay. Either you're preventing something from moving forward, or something isn't moving forward with you. One way or another, Leo. And it involves, like, all of this turmoil, disorder, conflict, petty arguments, battles, fights. Uh, something that, like, you're thinking that you... Or feeling like you're going to have to defend yourself from over here. And it's like, you're not unfamiliar with it. You got, like, Wanderer and... Explorer, reverse. Like, you're definitely, like, focused on something you're very familiar with. Let's see. What's another card that goes... Um, yeah, it, it's like a gift, but, you know, gifts don't always, sometimes gifts are, um, you know, sometimes, um, oh, that was the wrong one, but I will. Sometimes, you know, when, it's like, yeah, yeah, you know when your grandma would get you your 18th pair of, like, those wool socks that itch your feet, and she brought them in twos, so you'd always get two pairs of socks, and you couldn't tell her grandma, I hate these socks, they're uncomfortable. Because you know it's going to hurt Nana's feelings, right? And one day, you're just like, you know what, maybe if I suggest Nana something, she'll give me something different. And, you know, you suggest, you know, Nana, I have, like, just $20 or something. Nana looks at you like, you know, why don't you get a job? You bum! Merry Christmas! Here's the socks! You know, like, just disregarding what you would actually deal with it. It's like, that's kind of the gift here. It's kind of like... Hmm. I mean, you are flying away from it. You're Like, there's something from the past that you know that there is a treasure or bounty. In. Now we got the Six of Pentacles over here, but it's reversed, right? It's like you know there's something here that you can get, but like down here, it's like, is it really worth it? Temperance reverse, fusion chemistry, it is not. Oh, I had another card flipped over, too. Uh, people are not co people are definitely not coming together. This mom, I always notice her. She is the most mean mugging kitty I have ever seen. Look at her face. Just look at that. That's ridiculous. She's just mad someone's not coming on to dinner. And she's mad that, like, this connection between two people, probably dealing with this, is no longer here. It's like, how dare you not show back up to the house where I raised you? You know? Like, there is not a lot of harmony. There is not a lot of chemistry between all of these. Knight of Coins. Like, if someone found their identity in the family, they really don't see a place in it anymore, I feel like. Like, someone was overshadowed or whatever. And that's, like, torturous, Leo. It, it just is like, you know, like, this is some bullshit. Like, I deserve more, damn it. Um, you know, calculate and theorize and queen of wands. Fuck yeah, that's how you're, that's how you're feeling with, about whoever. You think you deserve more. Hmm. So what's up with this wheel of, wait, was that one of the other cards? Yes. These cards are the same cards as, like, my Raider Raid. Empress Reverse, someone might not feel completely content with where everything is right now, either. This Wheel of Fortune, right? Someone does want a love proposal, Leos. Or someone was looking for a reason to stick around. Could have been you, once again. Queen of Wands, she's finally popped up. Someone might have been a little bit naive with that, too, because she is quite a young queen. You know... Hanging around a little bit longer, wasting time. It's almost like you were expecting someone to come to you while you sat on your throne, but like, it was a waste of time. The Six of Pentacles reverse down here, right? A lot of heartbreak involved with how you weren't given so much, I feel like. But you saw everyone else was. 
So it was like you had to play some head games with people in order to get rid of them. In order to bring an end to that conflict. Right? We have the Seven of Wands, Leo. And Cross Watcher, of course. Right? I haven't feeling like you had to fight out that conflict. There's an extra wand in it. The other two are fives. So I don't know. Knight of Coin, Anchor Essence could be an Earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, coming out of some lunacy. They're, they're not as delusional as they used to be. They're coming out of, like, the distress and confusion. There is none now. Like, this person, um... What? Fighting off... That is weird. Like, fighting off an earth sign who is coming out of some crazy and... Coming out of the distress and confusion, like... You might have tried to push this person away to end the conflict, but it was it, it, it's going to come to an end anyway. It's like battle net or some shit. Root of this is the Two of Cups. Two people who are just bonding together, you know. Page of Coins Reverse. Messenger Expression. Once again, Earth Sign. This person didn't deliver the message, like one assumed. Um, there's no communication or reaching out to what one would assume is heaven in order to reach that ten of cups. Okay. Leo, do you have some... You're stringing along. Like, are you trying to isolate yourself such a little bit? Wow! I really did not make sense with any of those sentences. And I have not been drinking. Not for a few days, anyway. All right. Seven of Wands. What's up with this? Pick it up, man. Queen of Swords. Someone's trying to be, um... Clever, I'll feel like. When it comes to what they're cutting out. Because there's a lot of injustice involved. Could be Libra. Or you have Libra in your charts. One of the two. And you're thinking about just taking it off somewhere. Or this person, like, cut out the, uh, bad shit and is now leaving to go elsewhere. But I made a decision to cut some people out, which was the wrong thing to do, and now they're wondering where they should go. Okay. What's this one? Two of Cups? With this relationship right here? Someone is snooping. Someone is trying to gather information. Trolley trying to find ways to communicate in order to get a victory. Uh, but they're not saying anything. It's like this person doesn't want to communicate either. But I'm not sure, because I feel like there's not any community. Like, there's a lot of swords, but there's not a lot with the swords where he points out to, you know, like, oh, maybe somebody's saying some No, no one's saying anything at all. It's like none of them even want to confront each other, you know? This Nine of Pentacles, why is that the vibration, please? There you are. You're not entirely happy or you don't feel like you're in an empowered place. Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Someone might be spellbinding or charismatic to you. Or maybe you're just putting on that show yourself. Um, which is probably not the best idea for you right now. Or it maybe it's... Or maybe, just maybe, hear me out here. Um... You're trying to fool people into thinking that you're doing all right, but it's not a... Um, it's not as powerful and dynamic as you think. You know, like, a lie only works if people believe it. And if you're not put... And, like, you can only put a performance up so long before people, like, really pick up that shit. You know, body language is, like... Uh, I don't know what percentage. I'll say 90 is, like, 90% of our overall language to each other. Verbal is just the most shallow way to do it and if you're like keep acting like you're fine but like people are around you long enough they pick up on that shit like you know things might not be working out for you and maybe you hate your job 
co-workers and you need a break or you feel like things aren't working out between you and a person so you need a break because you kind of want all this shit to come to an end of some sorts that's why you're kind of like hiding in the cave and you're not very comfortable with it leo or cross watcher whoever it is right like whoever you're dealing with anyway it could be you it could be somebody else honestly Ten of Cups right here. It's not a very happy family home. There's something up with this fam. Fam. What might that be? Someone's at a crossroads with this. Uh, trying to come out of their isolated state and understand things with the Hermit in order to get that Ten of Pentacles, that treasury and discovery. Right? So it's like two tens, but like... It's like you got to come to this point of possibly evolving or growing yourself in order to come out of this hermit mode, which is a lot like um, the nine of pentacles reversed over here in order to get this ten of pentacles. You know, It's almost like it's the last final step, but we also have the five of pentacles reversed down here. So what is up with it? Feeling clouded, black, like you're stuck in a torture situation. It's like one person's begging for something and the other person's just sick of hearing it. It's just like, oh my god, dear, shut the fuck up, you know. Two of Cups! So, we, there might be an instance, oh, and you just want to fly, but you're devoted and disciplined, Leo. You're just like, god damn it. I feel like I'm trapped in this. Or I feel like I'm just going to be tortured with this for an amount of time. Eight of Wands, Reverse. Things are not changing, Leo. Right? Things don't feel like they're changing. Three of Wands, you don't know a, 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 you don't know a good way to end this, I'll say. If things don't change or something, you want to come out of feeling dazed and confused when it comes to, like, how you're going to break a heart or even break your own heart, it seems like just like separating from each other and it's like Jesus Christ like really harsh ways I have to say dear Leo I don't know what's going on with you though like it's kind of hard for me to read alright ten of cups reverse right Nothing's happening, nothing's changing, nothing's moving. Despite the fact that uh, their cup is tentatively being offered. And, ooh, look at that. Nothing's changing and it seems like someone still has love here. So, there is a new love to be given. Or maybe this person's hoping that things don't change so like a cup can be given. Five of Pentacles, Reverse. There's a burden that needs to come to an end between these two people, I feel like. But it might result in somebody walking away from something. It's like someone has to end this burden of what they walked away from in order to have the Two of Cups. Once again, that's popped up three times. Or they're burdened by the fact that they walked away from the relationship. One of the two. Last one. Yeah, someone's all sad. Feeling like they... It's almost like somebody is, um... Leo, it's almost like... Somebody in this, either you or a person you're dealing with, or even the cross-watcher, right? is really sad that like they let go of like almost like the, I always like to think Ten of Cups is like family element right because everybody's in here everyone's in the yard everyone's got their arms up praising the Ten Cup gods in the rainbow before it rains down wine and shit right um everyone's just chill happy and I feel like this is almost a family setting like happier times but then we got this ten of, this Ace of Cups right here and it's like were you expecting something out of somebody? Because this is twice family shown up. I don't know, Leo. I guess that's really up to you to decide. I'm just a messenger after all. But, that's the end of the video. 
So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to, you don't want to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Mwah. My dear, dear, lovely viewers. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.